Music, fun, and fellowship marked the opening night of the newly renovated Felix E. Grant Jazz Archives. It was a magical night, perfect for reminiscing about the art form being celebrated and preserved in this unique archives and for remembering the man who lived for jazz and for whom this unique archives is named. Felix Grant was not only a lover of jazz, he was one of few local radio broadcasters who played jazz nightly in the Washington, D.C. area, and he did it for over 45 years. I was a fan of Felix Grant, you know, at a time in Washington when there was literally no jazz on, on the radio. You had Felix Grant, which was like an oasis, you know, on the radio waves and for years and years and years, you know, you could hear Tenderly coming on, you know, not just any Tenderly. There was a signature recording of Tenderly that you that you heard, and 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 that was your entree into the world of jazz. It's very emotional for me. I saved all the newspaper articles. I saved uh, uh, all of his awards. I saved everything, and I never realized that someday this he would have an archive. I did it because I was so proud of him. It's such a rich resource and I mean as you know that I think the story of jazz in DC is still yet to be told to its, its fullest extent and I think it's it's the role of jazz and radio in the city is, is undervalued but this is a, I think will be a big step in, in getting the word out. Recently noted jazz music specialist and veteran radio broadcaster Paul Anthony donated his prized collection. I've been collecting records since I was 13 years old. I had about 6,000 of them and I couldn't bear to part with them. However, domestic entanglements, like my wife saying you are not going to take these to another house ever again, uh, led me to make this what I think is a great decision. One of the highlights of the evening was the unveiling of the display of Calvin Jones's trombone. Jones was a legendary figure in the Washington, D.C. community, a versatile trombonist, pianist, bassist, composer, arranger, and educator. He was a professor of music at UDC, where he also served as director of the Jazz Studies program from 1976 until his death in 2004. Among his many musical voices, the trombone was his signature instrument. His family presented the trombone to the UDC Jazz Studies program at the 2005 Calvin Jones Big Band Jazz Festival. I think it's beautiful. It really is beautiful and I'm very grateful for UDC to, to continue to keep my father's name alive. I really appreciate that the entire family appreciates it. I worked with Calvin for so many years and that trombone has some spiritual energy in it. Jazz Archives was also a longtime vision of retired UDC professor of music Bobby Felder. I was involved with at the beginning of the Jazz Archives with, with Mrs. Grant and Felix was my good buddy and of course Calvin Jones is the greatest person I've ever met in my life and, and uh, he he got all this started for us. And I'm just totally happy. This is a dream to come true for me. It's probably the only art form that America has produced. It's representative of America's spirit of innovation, its spirit of diversity. And then this wonderful Felix Grant uh, Jazz Library is just a great asset, not only to the university, but also to the entire city. So I'm uh, very happy and very proud to be here at UDC. This says that jazz lives that it really lives at UDC, that we're doing something important, we're making a difference in jazz music, uh, we're preserving it so that the young people have something to listen to, to know what went on, and know what their legacy, the legacy that has been given to them, that they've got to perpetuate and carry on. Uh -huh.